Welcome to Rome, the eternal city where history, art and culture converge to create an unforgettable experience. Today, we embark on a journey through time, tracing the footprints of the Romans who once ruled an empire and the artists who transformed this city into a vibrant canvas of life and colour. Our first stop transports us back nearly 2,000 years to a time when Rome was the beating heart of civilization. Picture a structure of such grandeur and magnitude that it could hold an estimated 50,000 to 80,000 spectators. This, my friends, is the iconic Colosseum, a monument that whispers stories of ancient Rome's grandeur and architectural prowess. Constructed between 70 and 80 AD, the Colosseum, or the Flavian Amphitheatre as it was originally known, was an arena of spectacle and entertainment. From thrilling gladiator contests to public spectacles, the Colosseum was a hub of Roman social life, drawing crowds from across the empire. The Colosseum is more than just a relic of stone and mortar. It is a testament to the sheer determination and ingenuity of its builders. Despite the ravages of time and man, it has withstood earthquakes, fires and looting, a silent witness to the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. Step inside this monumental structure and you can almost hear the roar of the crowd the clash of swords and the triumphant cheers as gladiators battled ferociously for glory and honour. The atmosphere is charged with the echoes of the past, a tangible reminder of Rome's rich and complex history. But the Colosseum is not just a monument to the past, it's a symbol of endurance, a testament to the timeless allure of the eternal city. It stands proudly amid the hustle and bustle of modern Rome, a stark reminder of the city's glorious past and an inspiration for the future. Today it stands as a testament to Rome's rich history and is a must-visit for anyone seeking to immerse themselves in the city's past. With every step you take, you're walking in the footsteps of Romans who lived, loved and dreamed in this great city. So come, let the Colosseum be your gateway to the past and let the stories of ancient Rome unfold before your eyes. Next on our list is the Roman Forum, the political, religious and commercial heart of ancient Rome. This bustling centre of life in ancient times now stands as a silent testament to the power and grandeur of the Roman Empire. For over a millennium, the Forum was the stage of Rome's political dramas, hosting triumphal processions, elections, public speeches, criminal trials and the gladiatorial matches that have become synonymous with Rome's ancient culture. Imagine walking these very streets over 2,000 years ago, surrounded by the powerful and the privileged of Roman society, Imagine the vibrant colours, the bustling crowds, the air filled with the chatter of deals being made and laws being passed. Now the grandeur may have faded, but the echoes of the past still resonate. As you stroll through the cobbled streets of the Forum, you'll find yourself surrounded by a landscape of ruins. Each fallen column, each weathered stone, tells a story of a time when Rome was the centre of the world. Despite the ravages of time, many remarkable structures have survived, offering a glimpse into the past. The Temple of Saturn, the Arch of Septimius Severus, and the Basilica of Maxentius are just some of the awe-inspiring monuments that await you here. These ancient structures, though now in ruins, still stand majestic and proud, bearing silent testimony to Rome's glorious past. The Roman Forum is not just a collection of ruins, it's a time capsule, a window into the world of the ancients. It's a place where you can reach out and touch history, where you can stand in the shadows of the greats and feel the weight of their achievements. As you explore this ancient site, let your imagination reconstruct the once splendid buildings from their skeletal remains. Picture the grand processions, the heated debates, the religious rites and the hustle and bustle of daily life that once echoed through these now quiet streets. Stroll through these majestic ruins and you'll find yourself surrounded by the remnants of temples, basilicas and government buildings that once defined the city's landscape. The Roman Forum is a testament to Rome's enduring legacy, a place where the past and present meet, where history comes alive. No visit to Rome is complete without marvelling at the Pantheon, a masterpiece of Roman engineering and architecture. This remarkable structure has stood the test of time, bearing witness to the rise and fall of empires the evolution of architectural styles and the march of history itself. The Pantheon's origins are steeped in mystery and legend. It was first built around 27 BC by Marcus Agrippa, a trusted ally of Augustus, the first Roman emperor. 
However, the Pantheon we see today is not Agrippa's original building. It was rebuilt by Emperor Hadrian in around 126 AD, following a devastating fire. Hadrian's Pantheon was a marvel of design and engineering. Its circular floor plan, topped by a vast dome, was a radical departure from traditional temple architecture. The dome, in particular, is a feat of engineering that still inspires awe today. At its highest point, it stands a staggering 142 feet tall, the same as its diameter, creating a perfect sphere. This architectural gem is not just about grandeur and scale, but also about subtlety and detail. Its interior is a study in symmetry and harmony, with the circular rotunda balanced by the rectangular portico. The proportions are designed to reflect the beauty and perfection of the cosmos, a testament to the Romans' reverence for the divine. The Pantheon's enduring allure lies not just in its architectural brilliance, but also in its historical significance. Over the centuries, it has served many purposes, from a temple to all the gods, to a church, and even a tomb for Italian kings and luminaries like the artist Raphael. Today, it stands as one of the best-preserved ancient Roman buildings, a tangible link to the city's illustrious past. Originally built as a temple to all the gods, its majestic dome remains the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome. The Pantheon is a testament to Rome's architectural genius and a symbol of its enduring legacy. So, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Take a moment, step inside the Pantheon, and let the weight of history wash over you. Just a short distance away lies Vatican City, the smallest independent state in the world and the spiritual center of Catholicism. Nestled within the heart of Rome, this city-state is a world unto itself, brimming with history, art and culture, all wrapped up in a serene spiritual ambience. Vatican City holds a unique place in the annals of history. Established in the early 20th century, it is the last surviving absolute monarchy in Europe. Yet its roots stretch back two millennia to the time of St. Peter, one of the twelve apostles of Jesus and the first bishop of Rome. Over the centuries, this tiny enclave has been the epicenter of the Roman Catholic Church, shaping not only religious, but also political and cultural landscapes far beyond its borders. At the heart of Vatican City stands St. Peter's Basilica, one of the world's largest and most important Christian sites. Its grandeur is a testament to the artistic and architectural genius of the Renaissance and Baroque eras. From the awe-inspiring St. Peter's Square to the breathtakingly ornate nave, Every corner of the basilica is a masterpiece. And atop the basilica, the dome, designed by Michelangelo himself, offers a panoramic view of Rome that is simply unparalleled. Just a stone's throw away is the Sistine Chapel, a jewel of Renaissance art. Here, Michelangelo's stunning frescoes, including The Last Judgment and the iconic Creation of Adam, adorn the ceiling and altar wall, creating a visual symphony that leaves visitors spellbound. Yet, the artistic treasures of Vatican City are not confined to the Basilica and Chapel alone. The Vatican Museums house an extensive collection of art and historical artefacts gathered over centuries. From ancient Egyptian relics to contemporary art, the museums offer a journey through time and across cultures. Here you can explore St. Peter's Basilica, marvel at Michelangelo's stunning frescoes in the Sistine Chapel, and wander through the vast Vatican Museums home to some of the world's most precious artistic treasures. Last but certainly not least, don't forget to make a wish at the Trevi Fountain. Nestled in the heart of Rome, the Trevi Fountain is far more than just a water feature. It's an artistic masterpiece, a symbol of Rome's long and storied past, and a beacon for wishful tourists from all corners of the globe. The fountain's history dates back to ancient Roman times, serving as the endpoint of an aqueduct that supplied the city with water. But the Trevi Fountain, as we know it today, was commissioned in the mid-18th century by Pope Clement IV. The artist, Nicola Salvi, was tasked with the monumental project and his Baroque-style creation is nothing short of breathtaking. The fountain is adorned with various statues, each with their own tale to tell. At the center, you'll find Oceanus, the god of all water, riding in a shell-shaped chariot pulled by seahorses. Around him, statues of abundance and health highlight the importance of water to life and well-being. But the Trevi Fountain isn't just a feast for the eyes. It's also the place where a charming tradition has taken root, one that involves a bit of coin tossing. 
This tradition has its roots in an old Italian legend, which promises a swift return to Rome for anyone who throws a coin over their shoulder into the fountain's waters. Over the years, this simple act has become a ritual for many visitors who come to the fountain, coin in hand, hoping to ensure their return to this enchanting city. The coins collected from the fountain are used to fund a supermarket for Rome's needy, adding a charitable aspect to this endearing tradition. So when you find yourself standing before the Trevi Fountain, take a moment to appreciate its grandeur and history. Then, with a coin in your hand and a wish in your heart, give in to the magic of the moment. So make a wish, and who knows? You might find yourself back in this magical city sooner than you think. From the ancient wonders of the Colosseum and the Roman Forum, to the awe-inspiring beauty of the Pantheon and the Vatican, Rome truly offers a journey through time like no other. Our expedition today took us through the heart of the Eternal City, immersing us in its rich tapestry of history, culture and art. We've marveled at the grandeur of the Colosseum, walked through the echoes of the Roman Forum, gazed up at the Pantheon's unmatched engineering genius and felt the spiritual pulse of Vatican City. And let's not forget the enchanting Trevi Fountain, where wishes whispered into the waters may just ensure our return to this magical city. Each landmark has its unique story, its unique allure, painting a vibrant picture of Rome's past and present. So come and discover the magic of the Eternal City for yourself. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel where we will be venturing to places all over the world. Until next time, Arrivederci.